Hi there, Mr. Evans here with a uh, video on share prices. Um, we are uh, worked through most of this content on this slide now, uh, taken from the specification. We're da now down at this point here. Influences on the share price and the significance of share price changes. So um, the share price is the cost to purchase an individual share uh, determined by the supply of and demand for an organisation's uh, shares. Um, shares are just like any other commodity, there is a limited supply of shares, that supply is controlled by the organisation who can uh, choose to issue more shares if they uh, so wanted to raise um, more money. But there's a limited supply of uh, shares which gives them value and um, the demand for those shares will then determine how much they sell for. If there is a high demand for uh, shares this will tend to um, be reflected in a higher share price and a low demand for shares where people aren't really competing to own them will reflect in a lower selling price for shares. And the graphic there just shows that um, the, share, the share price of an organisation can go up and down. That's the um, share price of Tesco, which I'll come back to in a moment. Um, so what are the determinants of the share price? Well, basically it is supply and demand, um, but we can um, have a look at what would lead to um, those factors changing. So uh, one thing would be the previous financial performance of a company. A company that has got a solid record of producing profits, um, creating value for shareholders through dividend payment um, is likely to be attractive to investors and that will uh, determine that there is a high demand for those shares and therefore push the share price up. Um, Equally, uh, share, you know, shareholders will, will be interested in the previous financial performance, but perhaps more important is their predicted financial performance. How does the organisation think it's going to fare over the next year? Um, and if uh, they are predicting high profit and good performance, then um, that may encourage shareholders to invest in that company. Uh, increasing demand for the shares and pushing up the share price. Um, I've mentioned dividend payments already. A history of providing good dividend payments makes a share very attractive um, and may uh, keep the share price high. Perceived managerial competence will be important. Okay, do the shareholders and potential investors believe that the management of an organisation is uh, they are good? They do create value. Uh, they will um, turn a business uh, uh, turn a profit over the course of the year. That would um, encourage investors to invest. Um, the state of the economy uh, may be an important factor um, in determining share prices. Uh, the worse an economy is doing, the lower profits tend to be and therefore uh, lower demand for share prices. Political stability can be important, um, quite a lot of political instability in the world at the moment. Um, uh, however, share prices have, have pushed on regardless of that. Nevertheless, political stability, investors uh, like certainty, like to know what's going to be happening in the political environment and, um, uh, you know, you look at Brexit uh, as an example of some political instability, that may uh, affect can, uh, investors' appetite for risk um, and whether they will invest or not. Finally, investor confidence. If investors are feeling kind of pretty chipper and um, uh, good about themselves, good about the economy, uh, prepared to take a risk, that might encourage them to invest in companies that they may not have otherwise and would push up demand for shares. So uh, let's just have a look at some of the, those factors in practice. So I don't know how well you can see that, but this is uh, Tesco share price. It's the end of 2016 now. Going back to 
2012. Uh, the Tesco shares performed relatively well. 2012-2013, uh, the organisation was doing quite well in a fairly tricky environment. Around about 2014, some questions start to, to be asked about Tesco's um, international strategy. Um, they had invested in companies in the US and not done terribly well. Um, there was questions over some of their Asian investments, particularly um, South Korea. Uh, and uh, yeah, so there are some questions about the organization strategy and its managerial competence. Okay, Tesco's core core business is, is focused on UK supermarkets, which they're pretty good at. Um, investors were worried that they may have spread themselves a bit too thin. That was compounded in 2014, I think it was around May, um, by a scandal, a, an accounting scandal. Um, the details are a bit sketchy in my memory, but I believe that they had over-reported some profits, and you can see that that really dented investor confidence in the uh, capabilities of the management. Um, I'm not quite sure what that bounce was in 2015, but the, uh, there was a change in uh, chairman at some point, and that might reflect um, the bounce for the new CEO, um, Dave Lewis. Um, and um, since then, uh, the share price has kind of levelled out a little bit. But um, that's just to demonstrate how uh, some of those factors uh, have played into a real life company and their share price. Um, just a graphic here showing the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Um, quite an interesting one, this one. Uh, the Dow Jones I Industrial is um, a US based stock market, um, but uh, it's, it's an average of share prices, it's not an individual company, but you can see that uh, this is the run up to the US general election. Uh, the US general election took place on the 8th of November. In the run up, uh, investors were confident that Hillary Clinton was going to win. Um, and because they were confident, they knew what was going to happen, then there was a big boost in share prices in the, in, in the run up to the election. What actually happened, um, obviously, was that Donald Trump was elected and the markets had a few days of kind of digesting that information but what's really interesting is what happened after that uh, the market went on a further rally okay reflected by the fact that Donald Trump has uh, promised to spend a lot of money on infrastructure um, a lot of investment and so investors are, are kind of happy in the uh, what they think is going to happen in the economy in the future and the stock market has pushed on fairly significantly in just this short period. Um, so uh, what is the significance of share price changes? Well share prices um, reflect um, an indication of belief about future performance. If an organization's shares is doing well that reflects the fact that uh, investors believe that this company is going to perform well in the future. Um, you know, and, if, and conversely, if a company's share price is, is doing badly, then maybe the, the future prospects of that business, that industry, are, are, are not very, um, you know, it'd be difficult for them to raise finance and so on. Um, share price changes reflect managerial performance and therefore can be used to measure managerial performance. Um, they determine the risk of a takeover for a company. If a company has got valuable assets, um, i.e. buildings and land and so on and, and staff even, um, <coughs> but a low share price, then that um, would indicate that that business is in danger of a, of a takeover, somebody going for those assets, well, well there's a low um, price for the shares. Um, share prices uh, determine confidence in a company. Okay, so, uh, you know, if the share price has tanked, um, then will suppliers be prepared to offer that business significant trade credit um, if it's looking like the share price is on the verge of collapse? Customers may not want to buy from a company that 
that um, is uh, receiving negative publicity in the news. Finally, um, there's an impact on the macro economy. Okay? Lots of us have mentioned our investors in share prices through things like pensions uh, that we contribute to. Uh, maybe we have an investment uh, fund. Um, and if uh, the general state of the economy is doing well, if the share prices are rising, then that will increase uh, investors' wealth, make them more confident, and therefore they may go out and spend more money in business. Okay, so um, that is an overview of share prices.